All right, listen, no dust warm-up. We're not going to go for two guys right now. So when we go straight, it's straight going to be D to D to choice, or actually choice to start with. And then after that, it's going to be three on one. But make sure that we're going hard. All right, here we go. Yeah! Yeah! The Pagula Ice Arena is home to this group of hockey players. A home they haven't played in for the better part of two months, as the Nittany Lions have been traveling to some of college hockey's most hostile environments. The first step on the road trip was to UMass Lowell to take on the fourth ranked team in the country. The Riverhawks got the better of the Nittany Lions in the first game, but Penn State bounced back with a convincing 4-1 win in Game 2. Casey Bailey and Eric Scheid continued their red-hot offensive ways, while sophomore puck stopper Eamon McAdam won his first game between the pipes in a Penn State uniform. The win put the Nittany Lions in a playful mood. Penny, you know I can't score on Scott. Stop I, can't score. Score on. I play yeah, with, right, idiot. Played this guy for five years. Yeah, so he still can't score. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, okay. Years ago. Well, to be fair, you scored on it against UConn. Did you not? Yeah, but I can't use a so move. That's that one of your moves, though. Not against you. It's still one of your moves. Here, you want some water? Please. Cranky Senior, Cranky Senior. The time in Massachusetts was productive, although beating ranked opponents is becoming a trend for this program. The next question, how would the Nittany Lions fare on a road trip to Ann Arbor? This is a story about a game like no other. Power and speed, violence and grace. In a home like no other, with the greatest student section in all of college hockey. This is our story. The Penn State Hockey Story. The road is what you make of it. Cold and formidable. A place to find out who you really are. A time to come together as one team. This would be goalie Eamon McAdams' second start of the year. More importantly, it was the season opener of the Big Ten season. Where pregame rituals range from serious to fun. Routines followed, superstitions obeyed. This night felt a little more urgent, a little more important. Coach Godowski's instructions were simple. Every game is a blessing, every shift an opportunity. Man, do we need a dub? These guys don't want us to first goal. But life on the road can't be scripted, and the home team jumped ahead early, testing the resolve of goalie Eamon McAdam and the rest of these Nittany Lions. Good set. 
I got Tommy. How would they respond? One play at a time. Turning maize and gold into black and blue. Division I hockey's newest team looked to continue its winning ways against the Wolverines. And an early power play provided just the right kick. Yuha, near circle, one timer by Bailey, they score! And hit off a Penn State body in front. And Max Gardner, I believe. Yeah! Max Gardner's foot deflected the Casey Bailey blast, evening the score at one. It was, I don't even know if he was hitting the net. It, hit, it was going wide, hit guard's foot and went in. Scheider. Come on now, come on now. I've seen you snipe from a worse angle than that. Eric Scheid would silence the Michigan faithful. Go Sheena! Yeah! Woo! Woo Michigan wins it, but stolen by Shide. Shide on a foot race against Martin, walks in, back in, score! Eric Shide with his seventh goal of the year! And Penn State, just like that, climbs in front. That's speed. That was job, Sheeter. The road is what you make of it. For Alaska native Casey Bailey, home is now State College and the road is just another place to grow Penn State's reputation in the hockey world. Knocked away, it's a two on one. Goodwin goes to the net, up the right side. A toe drag, score! What a shot! Casey Bailey buries it to make it 3-1 visitors. Bailey's good nature reminds all of those around him that this is still a game and that the road can be a lot of fun. Can I go in? Get in. It's in. Cool. Are you kidding me? Cool. That's cool. That's cool. It wasn't Penn State's best game. In fact, Eamon McAdam had to survive a two-period assault to secure a 1-0 start to the Big Ten season. And he did just that. This guy, Eamon McAdam, he has been phenomenal. Nice, we're a box out, boys. On right, wraparound try, rebound, I have it right in front, oh, what a save! McAdam, how did he see it? Nine games in a row away from Pagula Arena will help define the character and future of this Penn State hockey story.
Central Parkway for park and get a nice little uh, walk in for the free game. What do you guys think? Yeah. One L. One L? Yeah. Go Penn State! Yeah! yeah. Woo. Woo! Penn State! The pizza here has nothing on Chicago style pizza, let's be honest. I just want right, right in front of a pizza place. I'll go in there and stay right here. Most guys like drinking coffee before a game, so that's kind of just what we're doing here. No, I'm just a, a normal coffee guy. I don't even know what half this stuff means up here. It'll be like completely dry. It'll look like you can eat it, but don't, don't eat that. You sure I shouldn't eat it? It's the same coffee that everybody else has. It's just off the boat. It's just better. We're watching the Penn State Hockey Story. You're watching the Penn State Hockey Story. You're watching the Penn State Hockey Story. <laughs> You're watching the Penn State Hockey Story. You're watching the Penn State, Penn State Hockey, Hockey Story. Story. Welcome, Welcome to, to Madison Square, Square Garden. Garden. Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. of the other blue shirts, the New York Rangers, as well as some of the greatest moments in hockey history. Under the famous ceiling of this Manhattan icon, Penn State was set to take on Cornell. We're ready to go here at Madison Square Garden. It was a physical first period leading to an early Nittany Lions goal. Here's Holstrom to the near wing, attacking the net to a right, he center, score! Goodwin at the doorstep, jams it in! 1-0 Nittany Lions here at Madison Square Garden. And what do we say about the big Lions got to get this big game going in a hurry? And... The Big Red, a program that's been around for well over a century and one that Coach Guy Godowski knows well from his coaching days at Princeton. Eventually, the Ivy Leaguers would beat the Nittany Lions, one of the road bumps that happens when you travel. While games spent away from home are never easy, playing in front of a sold-out crowd at Madison Square Garden is a first-class way to travel. The morning comes, I'll know She'll be on her way to Broadway Two, three. But this team defies ordinary. They will not simply just lay down. They see it all as a dare. A dare to be different, a dare to be extraordinary, a dare to stand up and be counted. Shine with a step, right to left, across the Michigan line, between the circles, deep shoot, SCORES! A cat up, makes a strong save! Dave Scott, point blank, he rejects Kubiak and Penn State, knife's ahead. Now they will scrub. Near circle, fists to the line. The next stop, Wisconsin. Another program rich in history and tradition. Another chance to forge bonds and learn lessons that will pay dividends later in the season. The Nittany Lions are about halfway on a trip of 4,000 miles by land, air, and ice on the highway of assessment. Welcome 
welcome to one of the great college towns in all of America, Madison, Wisconsin. Those are the Penn State Nittany Lions on the road here in Madison against the Wisconsin Badgers. Rishon never got there. Rishon score! David Glenn knocks the water bottle off the top of the net, and he has given the Nittany Lions a 1-0 lead. It's a power play goal. Back to the point to Doherty. He can't get it. Back the other way. Here comes James Robinson. Score! What a shot. James Robinson. Uh, you know, we tried to come out strong. Pucks behind defense and uh, drive the net, and uh, hopefully that can continue in the next couple. Great poise all night by the Nittany Lions. Rich shot score! And the Nittany Lions lead 4 to 1. And the puck goes towards the empty net. It is. David Goodwin, number nine, puts this thing away with the fifth Nittany Lion goal. I like what they I like what I see of them tonight. And moving forward, I, I bet you they're in the top half of the Big Ten, if not competing for the number one spot with Michigan and Minnesota and some of the better teams. Shatter stick turned over. Penn State has it. Audio three on two in the Wisconsin and a short handed try. Old check scores! Conway to the side of the net shot scores! The rope set two, one, and it is over. Penn State with pick up the sweep for the first time in program history. Fans are finally showing us some respect, huh?